hey guys, I just want to talk to you real quick, and uh, this is going to be less than two minutes, um, about something that's been on my heart and something I've been thinking about over the last couple of weeks, and it has to do with our, our discussion guides. And again, these are our discussion guides. We want to enact air war, ground war mentality as we um, lead and, and pastor and love the body of Christ at Redemption Church. And so um, air war is that proclamation of truth on Sunday mornings, and ground war is the actual um, applying application and the gut level um, uh, just recognizing and, and living out of that truth. And so uh, the content needs to be very much the same. And so that's why we've uh, switched exclusively to to these gospel community discussion guides that have to do very much with the sermon uh, and not book studies or anything like that anymore. We want that air war, ground war. We think it's vital to the transformation of people's lives. But I want you to not feel tied down by this study guide. And here's what I mean by that. Again, I'm not saying go off and do some book study, but what I'm saying is, does your group need to pray this week? You can just sense it. There's a lot going on in your people's lives. They need to pray. Then forget the study guide and pray with your group. Is there some serious topic that's, uh, that's maybe affecting several people in the group, like a struggle with um, God's sovereignty and suffering, because there's a lot of people going through suffering? Throw out the study guide and talk about that. Is there one question in the study guide that when you look at it, you say, man, this is going to hit really, really hard and we need to spend all our time here. Spend all your time on that question in the study guide. Again, this is not a license to just go and talk about whatever the, the flip you want to in your gospel community groups, but I do want you to feel free as the leaders, the boots on the ground inside these groups to have this freedom to kind of look at this is vital and important to my group this week. And so I'm going to lead them in this direction. So please don't feel shackled and chained asking all four questions of the study guide in order every single week. I beg of you, please be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit and to the needs of your group and be willing um, to, uh, to uh, come alongside your group in the way that is, is best for them. So again, just don't feel chained to this study guide. That's all. Um, I'm going to follow up with each of you about this. Make sure you watch this and make sure you kind of get that. I'm not in all of your groups, and so I don't know um, how this plays out or what this even looks like. But hopefully that'll uh, this will be something helpful to you. And uh, the video is three minutes, not two. But anyway, love you guys, and I hope you guys have a great week in your gospel comms.